Do you want a magic wand for 65% more visitors, 33% higher conversion and killer SEO rankings? You guessed it right. I am talking about your website speed and how it impacts your business. Stay on till the end and I will tell you how to get such amazing results. You should know three important things. First, if your website doesn't load for two seconds, people start getting annoyed. Take more than three seconds and 40% visitors will abandon your site. Second, if Amazon loads just one tenth of a second slower, it can lose billions of dollars. While you and I may not lose billions, the loss is still very high, right? And third, website speed is a known ranking factor for Google rankings. The faster your site, the higher your rankings, obviously. Net net, a faster website means more leads and more revenues. Okay, so how do you check your website speed? Oh, I know, you just clear browser history and plug in your website, right? Actually, things are not so simple anymore, obviously. You need to understand two critical things. First, where is your website hosted? And secondly, which country is your IO main clients at? Think of your website as a pizza shop. The closer you are to a customer, the faster you can deliver those hot pizzas, right? If most of your clients are based in the US, you shouldn't be hosting a website in Asia as an example. There is one very important exception though. Some countries have rules requiring sensitive websites to be hosted within the country. So be careful if this applies to you. You can easily find where your website is currently hosted by using the site that I'm sharing the screen now. A quick reminder, if you're loving the content so far, please like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Now back to the video. If your clients are based all over the world, you can host in a midway location like the UK or Germany. You can also use something known as a content distribution network. Think of CDNs as local branches at pizza store. They can deliver faster, right? Now with this, let's find out your real website speed. Go to the site that I'm sharing on the screen now. Sign up for a free account and key in your website address. Take care to expand the analysis option button and then select the country from which you want to test your website. You can also turn on the create video option so you can review the video of the website later. Once you get the results, switch directly to the performance tab and focus on two key metrics. One, time to first bite. In our pizza example, TTFB would be the time it takes for someone to pick up the phone when you call the pizza shop. The faster the better, right? And second, first paint. This is the time when something begins to happen in your browser. So coming back to our pizza example, this would be like the time at which the customer service rep starts taking down your order. All the other performance metrics are certainly very important. But in my personal opinion, the average business user should be looking at these two metrics first. Finally, how do you fix this and your overall site speed? First, ask your current website hosting provider to move your site to a location closer to your customer. And second, you can get your hosting upgraded to a more powerful setup. The more powerful the setup it is, the faster your site, right? In most cases, this can give you a 20 to 30% bump in speed without any technical fixes required. If your numbers are quite bad, say TTFP is greater than 1.5 seconds or first paint is greater than two seconds, you can hire a professional web development agency like ours. In most cases, technical fixes are enough. Very, very rarely a complete rebuild is necessary, especially if your website is very old. I hope this content was useful for you. I would love to read your thoughts, so definitely leave a comment below. If you have any queries or need any help, get in touch at afterfirst.com or email us at hello at afterfirst.com. Cheers and bye.